gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, there we go. Big brown. Bam. Told ya. Need to get it close to that tree. That's where all the trout are gonna be hanging out, but that's cover for them. It's a nice cast. There he goes. That's a nice fish. I think that might be the fish that I miss. He's fighting like a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout, yep. This guy is just full of energy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna release you, buddy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's a turkey. Whoa. Perfect, right along that bank. That's exactly where I want to be. And there he goes. What is up guys? It is Osney Fishing Adventures and today we are out here on a beautiful mountain stream. I'm not sure what we're gonna do here today. I fished this stream a couple times. Oh, I'm sorry, these bugs are horrible. I'm trying to talk and all these bugs are flying in my eyes. It's horrible, I have to keep shooing them away. But boy, I am so excited to fish this stream. It's been a while. I never fished it this time of year. It's always been the middle of winter when not a lot of trout are active. So today we're gonna find out how many trout are truly in this creek. This is a beautiful stream. It's not on the class A list. But man, I swear it should be on the class A list, but I'm kind of glad it's not because then guess what? This stream is not publicized and not a lot of people know about it. And these fish are ready takers. They are ready takers, I'm thinking. However, you want to be careful when the water is this warm. I want, when I hook fish, if I do hook fish today, I want to get them in as quick as possible and get them going on their way. Because once that water temp hits 70, you probably don't want to fish for them because the fish get really stressed out during that time. And if you really hook a big fish and you play him out and you can't really get him in right away, he could die and you definitely don't want that to happen. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let's get right in the water and let me show you my setup. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to all you haven't yet, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, so today I'm out here with my Reddington Zero Four Weight Fly Reel. Going up from there, Got a little sunken ant. That sunken ant was a killer fly today. There was ants crawling all over me today. It was so annoying, but that's why they were taking these ants. I mean, every single little nook and cranny that I found in this creek, there was a fish that was willing to take the sunken ant. And then that just goes right onto my nymphing leader and I have 4X tip it on. Also, forgot to mention, I'll be using my four weight fiberglass Cabela CGR fly rod today. This is its debut. Hopefully it works like a charm. It should make these fish feel twice as big as they actually are. And if I hook a big one, it's gonna be a ton of fun. And I actually do hook a big one in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. This water is really low. It's gonna be hard targeting these fish. I would have preferred the water to be a little bit more. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> First one of the day. Pretty little guy. Let's go, baby. Don't you dare get off. Whoa. There we go. First one of the day. See, they're very small fish, but it's a fun little creek, especially on this little six foot six um, uh, rod. I'm able to get some nice casts in there. Just picked off that little brownie out of that nice little pool. There's a good angle. It's a beautiful little fish. There he goes. <laughs> Don't think we're picking another one out of that pocket, but I'm keeping my, oh, never mind. <laughs> as soon as, oh, he got off. As soon as I said that. That's the thing I love about this creek. It's loaded with fish. I mean, if you're going for small fish, or I mean, if you're just going for numbers, this is the creek to go to. You'll catch numbers in this creek. That's two fish out of that little pocket. Look how small this pocket is. There's some really nice looking crayfish in this creek I'm seeing. I'm almost considering almost throwing a crayfish fly. <laughs> This is a nice hole. I picked off a big chub. <laughs> big creek chub, it wasn't a trout. That's the only thing I don't like about this creek. There's an, also a good amount of, there goes one. That's, oh, that was a nice fish. That was a pretty nice fish. <laughs> Son of a gun. I'm not sure that was a trout or a big giant chub though, however. He, had, he put a good bend in my rod. Oh, 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 what is up with me in trees today? 
Uh, need to get it close to that tree. That's where all the trout are going to be hanging out, but that's cover for them. It's a nice cast. There he goes. Let's see if there's a trout or it is just a nice um, chub. <laughs> that's a nice fish. I think that might be the fish that I missed. He's fighting like a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Yep. That's a nicer trout. Oh my. That's a nice fish. Oh my. I'm almost considering putting him on the reel. That's a, that's a pretty nice fish. It's at least 13. Wow. Gotta tell you, I didn't expect that out of here. <laughs> After all that and missing a nice trout out of here, I hook a nice one on the ant. Let's have a sunken ant on with a little split shot. That's really all I am fishing right now. That's a nice trout. That's a super nice brownie. I mean, no, he ain't no monster. That's still a nice fish. He ain't giving up. He ain't giving in easy. Oh my goodness. I don't want them going through my legs. <laughs> it's what a lot of these big wild browns like to do. They like to try and go in your legs. There we go. That is an awesome trout. Look at that sucker. That's a thick trout. <laughs> now that's what we're more like looking for. I didn't expect to land a big one like this though. There's not a lot of big, not a lot of bigger trout in here, but these holes, a lot of trees came down and stuff and they created really nice holes. Some nice fish moving in. This guy is just full of energy. Oh my gosh. That's a beauty right there for this stream. Look at that. Oh, calm down. I'm gonna release you, buddy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> These wild trout are ready takers today. It's another nice fish. What the heck? They're all hanging out in that bank. Oh yeah. They're right under that tree. <laughs> Look at that. How many trout are under this tree? That's the second fish out of there. Second brown trout. And I think I missed like three or four. They're hitting that sunken ant though. They're loving that thing. It's terrestrial season right now. So I'm not surprised they're hitting that, but I've been here for five minutes landing two trout that are, oh my, oh my. Okay, dude, okay. Calm down, these fish are full of freaking energy. Come on, calm down. Another pretty wild brownie right there. That's awesome. Man, am I starting to really like this stream? This, this mending, cue my line straight, letting it roll right through under that tree. Now I'm getting, there was another smack. <laughs> really as soon as I said that. How many fish are under this tree, man? This is getting ridiculous at this point. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Go straight again. That was a perfect cast. Come on, I should be rewarded with that. I mean, you never know. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. There it goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that felt like a really nice fish. There goes one. That's a real nice fish. Oh my. That's that's an even bigger fish. This is a significant fish. You're kidding me. Oh my. Oh my. What is happening today? This fish is taking drag. They're all hanging under this bank. That's a nice fish. That's a nicer fish. Man, at first I was thinking these have to be chubs, but no. Oh, I got him foul hooked. No wonder he feels big, but it's still a nice fish. He had to have went for it, I'm thinking. I don't know how else I would have hooked him. What the heck? I can't believe how many trout are under this tree though. <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe it. Look at that, another brownie. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? You think I should stay here at this tree and just keep catching wild trout after wild trout? There's an ant literally right on my GoPro camera right now. <laughs> this rod is so cool. You could literally feel everything. Oh my, that's the cast. If, if I'm gonna hook the biggest fish in the hole, this is where he's gonna take. Right here, right now. There's another one. There he goes. <laughs> not the biggest fish in the hole, but it's another brownie. Oh no, that's a rock bass. <laughs> so even the rock bass take terrestrials. What the heck? <laughs> that's a nice rock bass too. That ain't a bad bass. Look at that sucker. It's been a while since I caught one of these. <laughs> this brings me back to my old days where all I used to do is go to this one single creek and catch rock bass. And I used to weigh them and I had like a PB rock bass. I'm not even kidding you. There he goes. There, I don't know, during the winter, oh my gosh. There's some big crayfish in here, man. I mean, those aren't just your average crayfish. They're nice crayfish. If there's big browns in here, they're gonna be feeding on those big giant crayfish. Arise right there. I see, I see a fish, right, riddly. I could, I could see him. Need to get it up a little bit further. Oh my, there he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. I saw him, I was like, you're right there, dude. That's a really small one. Nice. I spotted that fish. I saw him working, he, do you see that little sip? He did a little sip. Oh, that's a beautiful little brownie car marks and all these fish are so aggressive as soon as they see this ant they just go right for it they are really keyed up on these ants i cannot believe i'm so glad i brought these ants literally i forgot my fly box with all my nymphs in it and all i had was these sunken ants all right i think i spooked them i don't see any at the bottom oh wait i think i saw something gotta move very slowly for here or you'll spook them there goes one Wow, this is so much fun. That's a very, very small fish. Look how small that little brownie is. Ugh. Wow, 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 wow. It's like a little aquarium today. Look at that, there he goes. Oh, another ant, get off of me. <laughs> the ants are crazy here, that's why they're taking it. The ants are everywhere. I mean, they are just going nuts. They're probably feasting on these ants right now. All right, it's pretty deep right there. I don't even want to move any further because there could be trout at the bottom of this pool that are nice that I do not want to spook. And I'd rather catch them because I, as I, I'm not sure if you saw my videos. I call these trout ta tattletales that are hanging at the back of these pools. And this little six foot six free weight though, man. This CGR from Cabela's is the charm. And it wasn't, it's not an expensive rod at all. That wasn't the best cast, but leave it be doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter bad cast my <laughs> holy cow you gotta be kidding me that quick that's a chub all right well it's a nice fish though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a significant fish that was a quick take i wouldn't prefer you all right get out of here i don't want it. i don't even want to show you to the camera you humiliate me how dare you get on the end of my hook? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Just get out of here. Beautiful. Can a trout show up? We'll find... There we go. That's a trout. Has to be. Too much weight to not be a... That's another fall fish. I mean, that's another... Oh no, I fell hooked a trout. <laughs> fell hooked him. <laughs> Little guy. What the heck? What is going on? I think I saw a little bit of movement before I walked through this little dinky rip. Right there, right in front of me. I did not. <laughs> I'm stuck. All right, move up. Move up. Might be able to pick a few out of here. Yes, sir. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That was first cast, too. Very small little guy. 
I love this creek. This is so cool. Most of the fish might be very, very small, but they're very pretty fish. Par marks and all. Super golden. It's nothing like it. Get him in the sunlight. Oh! All right, he wants to go. Get going. He's right here. Where'd he go? Huh. Piggy left. I oh, know he's right here. Oh, there he goes. All right, here comes another nice little run. Let's do a nice little... I, I'm not sure what I call this cast. Wrist cast? I just keep it over here and I barely move my wrist up. I just, boom, let it fly right in there. There goes one. <laughs> oh my gosh. This creek is so loaded full of fish. So much fun. They might be small, but still. Look at that. Look at that. Calm down, dude. Oh my. Yeah, this fish is full of energy still. Look at that. Nothing like finding these little specks of gold in this beautiful stream right here. Get going, dude. I have a good feeling he might not be the only one in there. He wasn't. Oh, that was a nicer fish. Gotta tell you, do they love terrestrials? <laughs> Think I've learned that big time today. Man, that was, a, that was a better fish. Thing is, these are wild fish. Once you get them to take one, <clears throat> they usually don't tend to take twice. You know, they're smart fish. They aren't stupid, but Usually first cast you'll get them. Anywhere there's a little bit of depth and fast water, that's where the fish hang out in this creek. It's really like a dream stream. If you're looking for small stream, like if you're a small stream enthusiast, all these rocks, easy wading too. Look at, oh my gosh, I don't even know what these are. I mean, it's a little, that was a little wild brown trout, the one was. That one was a little, oh my gosh, it is an even nicer pool. You know what? I got to empty out my GoPro. I'm running out of space, guys. I'm really running out of storage space. <laughs> Catching so much fish today and getting so much footage. Need to be careful. The water's up actually to 67 in the sunlight. So if I look a fish in the sunlight, I'm just got to, ah! I'm got to scream and yell because I'm stuck in a rock. Not that was kind of a crap cast. Oh, there he goes. I didn't even know I had one on. That's how today's been going. <laughs> crazy day, crazy day. Getting your dude. It is a little bit sunny out and that might be the biggest reason that these trout aren't gonna be hanging in this specific pool. Because they just want, they don't want the fish, they don't want any predators to see them, you know? There goes one. Oh, he went around the rock and got off. <laughs> Need to get up there in the pool. I just don't want to go too far up. End up spooking a trout. There you go. It's not that big of a pool. I thought it was way longer than it actually is. That was a horrible cast, but it's probably going to work because it's in the seam. It's where the trout are going to hang out. There we go. Much better. I'll hook one now. Or not. <laughs> All right. There goes one. Not a bad fish, a little bit better. Eh. He's a trout, he ain't that big. He just felt big because I have my, you know, my light rod. Nice, nice, nice. I don't want to lay my rod in the mud. All there is is mud over here. All right, let me get this guy unhooked. I almost want to get it to the top of the pool, but there's a big giant rock that's in the middle of the pool. It's gonna give me trouble. Ridley, it's right in the middle. I'm not sure if you can see that. There goes one. Nice, nice, nice. A little bit bigger. Another little small guy. Oh my. All right, dude. Calm down. Jeez. <laughs> With some bigger ones. With some significantly bigger fish, too. That guy took at the top of the pool. Nice, got him. Oh, look at the colors on that fish, that's a beauty. I know I say every single one is a beauty, but that guy is really golden. He's colored up.
pretty nice pool right here. There goes one. Oh, better fish. There's a better sized fish. That's a de that's a way better fish. Nice. That is awesome. Nicey in all sizes. I mean, we're catching some nicer fish today. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's trying to make another run. There we go. Oh, that's a definitely way better fish. Look at that sucker. That's a beauty. Beauty of a little mountain stream brown. Let's get them unhooked. They are loving that sunken ant. And as I said, these ants, they're all over the rocks. They're getting all over me. It is so cool. That's a beauty for this stream. Well, we caught a bunch of beauties for this stream today so far. That was, that was on the right side. That's not even the good part of the hole. Look at that. need to get out there these fish aren't too picky about your drift there you go there's one that was quick <laughs> very small little guy trying to get it out there in the middle my gosh how many fish are in this creek today i cannot believe today today doesn't feel real it's really every cast every cast we're hooking fish today guys i don't know after those two fish Picked them off in different sections of the hole. I might have this hole covered pretty well. I'm not sure there's going to be another taker. I think there might be a storm rolling in. It just got really cloudy, which I really, really like. There goes one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he got off. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy how many fish are in here, though. I mean, how many fish, how many fish could be in one creek? This is way over class A. This isn't even on the class A list. I'm not even kidding you. Not even on the class A list. I'm glad it's not. The streams on the class A list, they get pressured so hard and almost everybody knows about them. So here's a quick tip, guys. If you're trying to find some unpressured wild trout water, make sure that it's not on the class A list because that's really the best trout streams. The best trout streams that I've found have not been on the class A list. Just wanted to throw that out there and I think maybe in a future video I might talk about how I scout streams, what I do to scout them because I think it would be an interesting video and you guys would enjoy it. Now let's continue because I still got one more fish that I didn't catch yet. <laughs> this video is just crazy. They loved, they were just so on the ants today. Let's keep going guys. Look at this, guys. The turkey. Whoa. I'm not sure how close I should get. Are turkeys aggressive during mating season? They probably are. Look how close I am to this thing. Oh my, there he goes. <laughs> wow. Can't believe I just got that close up to a turkey. I kept hearing... Burp, 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 burp. Sounded like a bird. And all of a sudden, I'm like... That ain't no, that, I mean, it did sound like a bird. It sounded like, I don't know what it sounded like. I'm like, what the? Oh, that's a nice pool. That's a very nice pool. Oh my, we got something big up ahead. I haven't fished this since last winter. So this creek looks completely different than last winter. I gotta tell ya. <laughs> I gotta tell ya. We're gonna look at fish out of this hole big time. Pretty far up there we go. We're gonna hook up there. Boom. Oh, that was a nice fish. You see that? That was a nice fish. What the heck happened? That was that was at least a 12 inch fish. <laughs> Crap. The heck is going on? There we go. Dang it! That was a nice fish. That was a really nice fish. Not like I already had my fair share of 12 inches today. 12 inch is a pretty big fish in this creek. All it takes is spooking one trout out of a hole. And they're done. They're done. Mm -hmm. It's deep enough to hold a trout right there. All you need is a little bit of current. You don't even need a lot in this creek to have fish hold. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Don't tell me that's a trout. That's a little chub. I just spooked a trout up there. Mm, unless it didn't spook and it was chasing something. If I walk in this water, I'm going to spook trout, which I really don't want to do. But I don't want to walk in that 
Oh my, look, there they go. <laughs> What'd I tell you? All right, the good thing is I don't think a lot of these fish are hanging in this sun. But however, I don't want to move too fast up here. Perfect, right along that bank. That's exactly where I want to be. And there he goes. Not a bad one. He ain't huge. Not a bad fish, though. It's a decent fish. He ain't the monster we're looking for. I'm kind of glad he's coming down here. Stay down here. <laughs> Please stay down here. That's a nice fish. He ain't bad at all. Look at that. <laughs> that's a nicer fish. He ain't the big boy I'm looking for, but that's a nice fish. Today is just a crazy... I can't believe how much these fish are on the bite. I just can't believe... I've never been here this time of year either, so I didn't know how many fish were actually going to be, you know, in the creek and active. But boy, are they active today, I got to tell you. Look at that sucker. Holy cow, guys, that was just insane. <laughs> I have never experienced anything like that. It was really just cast, fish, cast, fish. And you can see, I just had the footage just kept running. I caught like two fish out of every single one of those little tiny pockets. Not every single one, but I just couldn't believe I was catching two fish out of some of those very small pockets. You would have never thought two fish would be hanging in those pockets. But then it's like, boom. Oh, wow, there was a fish there. Even in that gin clear water there, hard to spot. But anyways, really hope you enjoyed this video. And as you guys know, if you saw my Instagram story, I call this little technique I've been using with these sunken ants on split shots the drown ant technique. I was going to go into more detail and have a video before this video so you guys could watch that video and actually understand what I was doing. But I decided, you know what? I wanted to explain in a future video just so I could get my thoughts together because that would be a complex video. It would actually take me at least 12 to 15 minutes of explaining in that video if I was going to make it good. And I literally got 5 to 7 minutes in and it took me like 4 or 5 hours to come up with 5 to 7 minutes of footage talking about a drowned ant. <laughs> so it was kind of this, I didn't write anything down, you know, I wanted to make it good. So I'm probably going to make a future video sometime, I'm not sure, it might be a couple months, might be a year, I'm kidding, it's not going to be a year. <laughs> but hope you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next Aussie Fishing Adventure guys, I'm out for now.